and welcome guys, Castle Queenside here. Today we have another great game on our hands. This one was played in 1942 between Rada who was playing with white and Kostal who was playing with black pieces. This game was played in Prague in the midst of the World War II. So uh, that is the reason why I couldn't find any more information about these two players. But nevertheless, the ga this game is really fun and uh, because of the tactical win of the white and it's definitely worth watching. Uh, also, at the end of this video, I will showcase you one puzzle and uh, explain you the solution and uh, explain you how I work finding the best moves in the game, so maybe this will help you as well. So stick till the end, this game will be fun and the puzzle as well. So the game started with e4 and c5 for the black, knight f3 for Rada and knight c6, so this is a Sicilian defense, d4 for white striking in the center, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, and knight f6, these, these are all book moves, so nothing extraordinary about this, knight c3, and d6 for black was played, g3 for white, and the black responds with g6, so this is a dragon sicilian, fianchetto variation obviously, the black will fianchetto its bishop on uh, g7 and will try to get some play on this diagonal. The game continues with bishop g2. Black played the obvious bishop g7. And now knight takes on c6. B takes on c6. And e5 was played uh, for the white, striking in the center. Uh, good move, a lot of games played this way, and now the black made his first mistake. So knight d5 is a mistake, and the uh, uh, computer recommends knight d7 as the best variation in this position. So after knight d5, knight takes on d5, c takes on d5, and queen takes on d5. Uh, again, inaccuracy by the computer here, computer says bishop d5 was the best. Of course, computers always calculate better than humans. So right now after queen takes on d5 this rook on a8 is attacked so the black decides to move this rook on the only free square and that's b8 which is a good move of course taking the advantage of this open file. In the game next move was e takes on d6 and castle kingside for the black a good move obviously by the computer as well uh, because right now delaying the castle can lead to serious problems in black position you never want to leave your king exposed especially this early in the game and when enemy pieces are already looking at your king the white responded with castle on his side good move as well and now bishop b7 uh, computer says that this is an inaccuracy and computer recommends taking this pawn with e takes on d6 uh, for some reason this wasn't played in the game but uh, even if this was played, this pawn would be very weak as it has no defenders, he has no other pawns and it's isolated. So after this move, d takes on e7 was played. Inaccuracy by the computer, computer recommends queen d1, but now there is already some, uh, some trouble in the black position. Uh, right now the black cannot take this uh, queen with his queen, as what would follow would be e takes on f8 with a promotion of a queen and after the bishop or king takes we take the queen they take our queen and we are a piece up so this would not be a good trade for the black after d taking on e7 the only move for black is queen e7 which keeps the position a little bit worse for black but still very playable so after this move the white decided to play bishop g5 a computer says that queen g5 was actually best in this position, offering trades of the queens and uh, just playing this endgame for the win, since we have, a, since we are at two pawns up, uh, but the white decided with bishop g5. So right now the black played queen b4, which is a good move obviously, and now the white, since this bishop attacks this queen, the white is forced to move his queen back which black uses to exchange the bishop pair. Bishop takes on g2, king takes on g2, and right now black wanted to return this material, and he played uh, bishop b2. 
uh, mistake by the computer. Computer recommends queen c5 was the best, so putting the queen on this square and attacking this bishop. So right now the white rook is attacked and the white plays rook a to b1. And now queen a5 was played, just removing this pin. Uh, computer says that this is a mistake and recommends queen c5 as the best move because right now we would be attacking the bishop. I mean, we are attacking it this way as well, but queen here is more centralized, I guess, and this, this is the idea of the computer. It is not, not a big mistake, by the way. So right now, bishop h6 was played and the computer uh, evaluates this as a blunder. Computer recommends bishop e7 here. With some plays after that, the black rook on f8 would go on c8 and the game would be almost as similar, but the white decided to uh, expose this white, uh, expose these black fields and the weak black king. So this was not a, that big of a, of a blunder, but computer of course sees all of the moves ahead and uh, if black played perfectly as a computer then this would be a blunder but of course we are not computers and we cannot see everything this is a human move to to play uh, completely human move to play and right now rook f on e8 was played uh, which is a blunder because right now we are coming to a critical uh, part of the game uh, see if you can spot the winning move for white in this position the winning move is rook takes on b2, a brilliant sacrifice by the by the white. Right now, black is forced to take this rook, and now the white found queen d4, already taking the advantage of this weak square and a checkmate threat. So black was in serious trouble in this position, and he found the only move that can possibly delay his doom, and it was queen e5. For now, looks like everything is okay for black. This rook is protected. This queen is protected as well. This field is blocked from attack. So, looks like everything is solved for the black. But in this position, the white finds another amazing move, another brilliant move, and that is rook e1. Another brilliancy by white, and after this move, the black resigned because there is no way he can save this position, and we will show why. For starters, if the black queen decides to take this, then obviously queen g7 is a checkmate. So right now, after rook e1, if the black decides to take this queen, again we have a checkmate on e8. So this is not a good option as well. So after rook e1, one way of trying to uh, escape this position is playing rook b5. But then the game would continue with f4, attacking the queen, again the same threats remain. Rook d5 trying with some counter, desperate counter attack in this position. Game would continue with rook takes on e5, rook e takes on e5, and queen b4. Again, creating a threat on this field. And uh, right now the black has to go on e8 with his rook. Then the game would continue with queen c3, again using these weak squares and the weak diagonal. And now rook is forced to go on e5, which afterwards we continue with queen c8 check. And uh, after this move the black is done because there is no way of stopping this, uh, this checkmate. If after rook e5 this rook takes our rook, we just continue with f takes on e5 and the game is pretty much done since again this checkmate threat is undefendable. So this was all for today's game guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, you saw that this game had a wonderful tactics and it was truly a gem of a game even though it was played by the unknown players but uh, the video doesn't end here and now we will go to the puzzle and I will see if you can find the best tactical solution for white in the puzzle. Welcome back guys, it's puzzle time. In this position we are playing is white and we need to find the strongest continuation here for the white. Uh, I will explain you how I think in the games and when I solve chess puzzles and from there maybe you can uh, use this when you play your games or when you solve puzzles. So I think it will be useful, useful for you. You can also join of course and see if you can find the winning move on your own. When I first tried to solve the position 
I first look for checks. Uh, so in this position, the black king is here on f6. So there are a few checks I can give. For example, I can give with this rook on d6, but it's no good since it's protected by this knight. Um, I can maybe try give a check with this rook, but the only move is here, and this is not good at all since this field is protected. What else I can do? Can I give any other checks here? This bishop looks good, the king is on black squares, so maybe I can try and give this check here with the bishop on e7. The black king can simply take this as this is undefended, the black king can go on g7 as well, so this would not uh, do any good for me. Let's see if there, if there is other checks in this position. There is one check on d4 as well. Um, this check looks good at the first glance, but again, the black king is, is simply going to take this and uh, the game would continue with black doing way better. But when I look at this check, for example, it would be good if this pawn was defended somehow. And when I gave this check here on d4, this would be a checkmate. So this is a clear checkmate threat in this position with bishop d4 if the king doesn't have this square for taking. So from there I concluded that the best move must be a rook d5. A rook d5 right now is the best move because there is a checkmate threat. Bishop d4 is a clear checkmate threat and looks like the black doesn't have any answer here. The only thing he can do in this position is by playing a rook c takes on c5. Then we continue the game with, of course, rook takes on c5, rook takes on c5, and b takes on c5 with a decisive advantage for white. So rook d5 was the right tactical idea uh, because uh, we immediately created a checkmate threat and we forced black into removing the dangerous piece that would checkmate the black king, which gave us the advantage for winning the game. Uh, so this was the solution for this puzzle. Hopefully you enjoyed the puzzle. You also enjoyed the game. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. This would mean a lot to me as I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to make this a living. So please, uh, it is much appreciated. Thank you for all the comments, all the likes and all the follows up until now. I truly appreciate it. And uh, we will see each other in the next video. Have a nice night. Bye bye.